Okay, for this part of the question then, we're given this new expression for the height h. And it says hence, so it's obviously got to be related to what we worked out previously. Well, the previous archer had his height for the arrow given by this expression. And we can see that when we compare the two, that this is 0.3 more than the 1.8 here, getting it going up to the 2.1. So we saw that this first expression was equal to this when we completed the square. So all I've got to do is just add 0.3 to the 21.8. And if we do that, we end up with the 0.3 added to the 21.8 and it gives us 22.1 then minus what we had before. And in this form it makes it very easy to be able to determine the maximum height. That maximum height is going to be when this term here goes to zero. That's when d is equal to 100. So if we just put that in we can see the maximum height occurs when d equals 100. It will make this term here 0. So therefore, the maximum height's got to be 22.1. And that's the answer to d part 1. And it occurs at a distance of 100 meters from where it was fired. And that's the answer to d part 2. Okay?